Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So if you're a sports fan like me, chances are that you already know that a trip to downtown Houston wouldn't be complete without a ticket to see the Rockets, the Astros, or the Dynamos. But what you might not have known is that there's a pretty awesome brewery right in the middle of it all, and it's become one of the hottest spots to pregame in the city. So we sent our resident Houstonian Tessa to check out this trendy pub. We're in my hometown of Houston, Texas, where I'm about to show you guys one of my favorite local hotspots. Let's go check it out. Welcome to 8th Wonder Brewery. Inspired by the famous Houston Astrodome, 8th Wonder opened its doors in 2013 and began brewing beer in a dome-like warehouse right in the heart of East Downtown. On tap, one of the most unique selections of craft beers you'll ever taste. And with a location just blocks away from three major stadiums, plus a packed lineup of live events, it's no surprise that this place packs them in night after night after night. All right, guys, so I'm here with Ryan, the president of 8th Wonder Brewery. So, Ryan, I've been coming here now for about two and a half years, and what really... Oh, yeah. yeah. So, what really stood out to me was the ambiance. Like, the, the vibes and everything is just so, like, H-Town, hold it down. Yeah, and sure. so, where did this idea come from? It's really different and creative, and then how did y'all get the ball rolling on it? Myself and my partners, we are home brewers at heart and from the start, so... We love beer and we wanted to learn how to make beer and so we did. We're just genuinely born and bred from Houston. We love this city. We know nothing else but this city and we're just, you know, paying tribute to a city full of rich history and culture and traditions and that's, you know, just doing a modern fun twist on it. You guys had a food truck before starting this. Yeah, so absolutely. So we actually started with a food truck called Eatsy Boys and that opened in about 2010-2011. And we actually opened 8th Wonder in 2013. So we're in the heart of downtown Houston. What uh, brought you guys to this location? Really blind luck. Um, we were looking for a place for our brewery. And when I thought brewery, I, the first thing that came to mind was industrial and urban. And you know, when we signed a lease here in 2011, this was not a place where people were hanging out. Yeah. But fast forward now, to, and this neighborhood is booming. Uh, we're walking distance to you know three major sports stadiums. There's bars and restaurants opening up all around us. People are moving into the neighborhood. It's really an exciting time for this neighborhood, and we're uh, we're proud to be a part of it. You've got to brew great beer, but that's half the battle. You also have to market your product, mm -hmm. and you know to come up with fun, catchy names is pretty common in the craft beer industry. That's so, do y'all take suggestions? We have. Or we, we, we're open to them. Yolo Texas. I think that's a great Ayo. name for a great beer. Great co-branding opportunity exactly. here. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Right on. So I hear I'm gonna get a sneak peek to see where all the magic happens. Absolutely. Let's go meet my partner Aaron. Uh, he's the brewmaster here, and he can give you a full tour. So we're standing in our brew house. We actually have a 20 barrel brew house, which means this vessel can make about 40 kegs of beer at one time. So we're brewing a collaboration beer with 23 other breweries right now, okay. where we use the same strain of yeast. This is the first time this has ever happened in Texas. So right behind you, we have our mash tun. This is where we're converting starch into sugar, making a liquid called wort. Wort is beer before we add the yeast. So we take about a ton of grain, we crack it open, exposing the starch in the ovule. We'll pipe it over here through an auger system, combine it with hot water, a process called mashing. The enzymes will convert those starches into sugars. We'll then, after mashing, bring it over here to the boil kettle. We'll take that wort, bring it up to a boil. We'll add hops in different stages. In a year, we'll do about 15,000 barrels of beer. So is a barrel like a keg? It is not. Actually, a barrel, okay. is, a, a barrel is a very <laughs> odd unit of measurement. A barrel is 31 US gallons. Will I be able to get my hands on it to kind of help out with this whole scientific beer making process? Absolutely. In a few minutes, we're going to be graining out. We're going to take that grain that we've converted into sugar, all the spent grain, the husks and the stuff we don't need, we'll go ahead and we'll put that into barrels, give it to farmers so they can use it as feed or compost. So drink beer. You're doing good things for farmers and for the environment. <laughs> So I hear you guys are going to be adding a new distillery. How is that going to be different from what we see here? Well, all distilled spirits start as either beer or as wine. So we'll be making the wash, the, the distiller's beer, right here at 8th Wonder Brewery and transferring it right across the street to 8th Wonder Distillery. Great, okay, so as of right now, let's go make some beer. First things first, I gotta change out my boots before I start. 
Now these boots were made for walking. So we've converted all the starch and sugar that we need. That we've then transferred it over to the brew kettle. Okay. We've done a process called sparging, where we go ahead and rinse uh, that grain bed with a little extra water, making sure we remove all the fermentables. Okay. Now it is just a whole bunch of spent grain. We'll be pulling that out, and you'll actually be raking that out of the mash tun in a few moments. Let's do this. It's a workout. It's like oddly relaxing. That's good. Okay, I got excited. I wanted to do more. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So before the break, our very own Tessa went behind the scenes at 8th Wonder Brewery in Houston to get the inside scoop on how they make their one-of-a-kind selection of craft beers. And up next, well, it's time for the main event, the taste test. And this brew, well, let's just say it's definitely not your daddy's beer. Got a beer snob in your life? Then bring them here. From a cougar paw to a people's champ to a rocket fuel, 8th Wonder Brewery has got one of the most unique and tasty beer selections in the entire state of Texas. All right guys, so I'm here with Justin, the tap room manager. So Justin, I hear we are going to be trying a few uh, beers from this flight here. Can you tell me a little bit about each one? I sure can. Uh, the first one you're gonna taste is gonna be our dome foam. That's okay. gonna be like our signature flagship one. That's the one that's in all the stadiums. It's kind of an easy drinker. The next one's gonna be Intellectual. That's gonna be our Wit Blonde. The next one's gonna be Cougar Paw, okay. which is our red ale. A little bit dark in color, but also drinks light. And then the next one I have for you is gonna be Rocket Fuel, our Vietnamese coffee porter. Don't foam. Don't foam. Ooh, it's like a little um, pop rocks. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little nice pop rocks. Yeah. It's delicious. It's like, reminds me of summer and sunshine. Intellectual. Wow. With blonde. Mm. It's happening. It still goes down smooth, but you can taste it as soon as it hits your hits your your palate. So you start off with this, then around noon you move you okay, move to yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay. Next so one. then we get a little darker. Okay. That's our red ale, our cougar paw. Cougar. So like U of H cougar. It is. Okay, so I'm not a big dark beer drinker, but this is not difficult to drink at all. This I know a lot really of people. A lot of people are scared of the dark beers, mm -hmm. but this one kind of lets them in and like, hey, dark beers can be easy drinking as well. Yeah. So that's kind of like an introductory one. The next one's a little special. Uh, this one is our Vietnamese coffee porter. So if you like coffee, um, you're gonna love this one. Okay, I like coffee, but I add a lot of sugar and cream. There is. So let's there, see. there is some milk sugar added to it, so there's, oh, it's nice. gonna be sweet as well. Okay, well, cheers to that. Cheers. Oh my gosh. This is You're like gonna drink the whole thing. You I'm gonna so drink the whole thing. Video. This is really good. You picked a great, great slide. Thank yes. you so much. After these beers, I think I need some food. Some I would look no this. further than outside. Our beer garden, we have the Easy Boys food truck out there. You should try the Texas Day Cubano. That's my favorite. A little smoked ham on there, Swiss cheese, Dijon mustard, pickles, classic Cubano with a little Texas twist with that barbecue on there. Order up for Tessa. It's so good. It's like a Texas grilled cheese. It's delicious. It's amazing. That does it for me here at 8th Wonder Brewery. If you are ever in the Houston area, you gotta come check this place out. Great beer, great food, great people. Overall, a great place to hang out. And when you come, don't forget to tell them YOLO Texas sent you. Later. Want to check out 8th Wonder Brewery for yourself? Visit 8thWonder.com to learn more.